Empire of the Light is a beautiful, heart-wrenching film that is so intimate. They draw you in and you feel like you're part of their lives. Go see it. The amazing Olivia Colman delivers an honest and intense portrayal of Hillary, a woman struggling with loneliness and mental illness. That and it's probably not uncommon for you, but still, when somebody like Sam Mendes says, "I'm writing a part for you," what does what does that mean to you? I, I, made you say yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've heard from my agents that Sam Mendes wants to do a Zoom with you. Oh, okay. It's it, it during lockdown. I'm so sort of sitting in my kitchen going. Hi. <laughs> 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 um, so I'm, I'm writing a film, and I was just. Uh, interested in maybe you doing it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, and I didn't know what it was about. Um, but I thought it was worth a punt. And um, yes, and then I got the script and just I'm just very pleased that I've said yes. <laughs> um, and it's it's it was a, it was a great part and a bit scary, which is always quite exciting. Um, but yes we've never met. I don't know how that had happened. Olivia and Colin Firth talk about their interesting first jobs as actors. Um, which was four of us in a van driving around schools doing yes. Yes. Okay, 25 pounds every fortnight. Yeah. You got paid though. I know, okay. Um, and that is yeah, that was it, my first job. Did you do children's plays or like no, we did the miser? Um, <coughs> none of the kids liked it. <laughs> um, we had a lovely time. It was 14 parts and only four actors. It was, it was, I can't imagine what it looked like. Oh, cool. <laughs> Colin, for you? Uh, it was uh, early 80s and equity was uh, a very highly functioning union and protective of, of its members, uh, which meant you don't just like step in because you're some director's choice, you, you know. Um, and uh, I, got offered a role straight out of drama school. But you, it, it, basically in Britain at the time, you were not, you couldn't get a job unless you were an equity member and you couldn't become an equity member unless you had at least two jobs. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so it, it really was a perfect catch-22. Yeah. And everybody had to find some way to navigate it. Um, and all credit to a union for being that protective. But um, I, so I, I did land a brother Sort of job of my dreams. It was a, a lead role in a West End production. But I couldn't do it because I wasn't an actor. Oh. Oh. So then. It's it was, done all right. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> Once I got over that. Rising star Michael Ward describes his audition process for the role of Stephen. And just enjoying it. But I remember like the third audition that I'd done. I, leaving there and I, I literally met up with my agent, you know, telling him about it. And I was like, you know, if I don't get this role, bro, like, fuck it, man. It is what it is. I've, it, I've had so much, but like Sam's audition process weren't just like, you know, you go in and read the scenes. We was pretty much workshopping it. And I just learned so much from him within that process. So I was like, if I don't get it, I just learned from one of the best directors in, in the game. And um, I can utilize all of this information to, you know, keep going forward. But then. Really enjoyed hearing Toby Jones share his unique perspective on approaching a role. Anything I've done before, I mean, a job like this. I mean, so often as an actor, you're, someone, someone says, I, I, I'd love you to play this part. And you go, you read the part and you go, oh, I, I can't be a projectionist, who's this guy? I don't, I don't know who this guy is, you know. Why do they think I can do it? And you have to not go back and go, well, I don't know why you think I can do it. <laughs> And you realise that you have to do everything in your power to persuade yourself that you are who they think you are. And that's sort of all the job of being an actor is, is going to, going to go find everything that will persuade yourself. You could possibly be this person that they just assume you are. Maybe Tanya Moody should do some stand-up. We roared with laughter as she described her self-tape experience. So I'm speaking to a room full of actors, right? Yeah. yeah. So you relate to this. I just got a call from my agent saying, can you self-tape for <laughs> Sam Mendes, right? And so what do you do? You go, yeah, I've got that time. But it's one of those self-tapes, you know the ones where you don't get the script and you just get the sides, yeah. right? Yeah. Right? Don't you hate those? Yes. Right? 
Because then you have to piece together what exactly it is. So you do your homework and whatever as much as you can, right? And you know, you do the take, and I have this thing where I do self takes where I don't, I don't agonize over it, right? I don't do it again and again. If I feel like I've got a take, yeah, a lot of nodding heads there. You've got the take, send it off, yeah? Don't agonize, just send it. Within like hours, my agent going back, do it again! <laughs> <laughs> it's not good enough. And then she, she just gave me notes. I don't do it like this, or do it like that. I thought, oh, I know, bloody hell. So I just followed my agent's notes and did it send it off, and of course, as you know, you just forget it. You don't dwell on the audition, right? As well, you just walk away, put the script in the bin, it's never happened, <laughs> right? It's the healthy way, otherwise we go mad, yeah? <laughs> and then I got a call saying, Sam Mendes wants to meet you in town just to have a chat, and I was like, oh. Yeah. But even then, you know when that happens, it's not a guarantee, is it? <laughs> right? So you just gotta put on your best frock, <laughs> your best shoes, go in early, Try to stay relaxed. <laughs> Act like you don't really, you've got to dress like you don't really need the job. Do you know what I mean? Like wear your nicest frock. And when that makes you look like you make a lot of money. But you don't really. But you know, they just need to think like she doesn't really need the job. So therefore, I'll give it to her. Perhaps the decider. <laughs>